Hello everyone, it's me again. We're getting ready for Christmas. Now, I continue to celebrate clearance items that I purchased last year, the blue wreath here. Wish I'd gotten two. Now, I love the silver reindeer, so I'm going to keep that and of course, add a few more items to it. I think that turned out pretty good. So needing a second wreath for the stairs, I decided to take this green one and just place on it some blue and white ornaments in hopes that it would sort of fit the bill and I believe that it did so now we have our garland remember 90% off I thought that was a pretty good deal so I'm placing it along the stairs with this method I didn't need any hardware now when wrapping your presents don't throw away the tubes you can use it for storing your Christmas lights it is so easy to just apply them to my Christmas decorations this way. I decided that the garland looked best sort of bent along the stairs instead of just stretched straight along the stairs. There's that opening underneath that I did not like. Now, as you know, with flocking, you are going to have, shall I say, snow everywhere, but it was indeed an easy cleanup. And I'm really glad that I took the time to bend the garland along the stairs. I think it made it look fuller and way more impactful. Now the lights were just simply draped on top of the garland in a ruffled fashion. So in case something didn't work out, I could easily remove it. Doesn't that look better? Nice and full. And now for the addition of all things white and silver. So these are last year's picks and a few of the flocked picks that I cut away earlier that you saw in the Christmas tree. And I just spreaded these things out throughout the garland, every other one, and I think it worked out beautifully. And I love the sparkle of those small little silver picks from the top of the stairs all the way down to the floor. Now I didn't have quite enough, so you might see a hint of green, at least about 16 inches of it at the very top next to our son's bedroom door because folding it kind of took up a little extra garland but I'm really glad that I did that and at the very bottom of course I just did a simple little floor arrangement using those picks and I tied a bow around it just to add another pop of the blue coming through at the very end of the stairs okay when I get off the stairs I'll pull that flocked piece back through on the other side so you don't see so much of the green but I think this looks really pretty and I hope that you love how this turned out I love opening the front door and seeing that burst of blue and white and I don't think it is overpowering I guess because it's along the floor instead of along the railing and I think that makes it a little bit more attractive and I also think it makes it a little bit more subtle but yet it is a little bold in the fact that it is blue and I think that it is stunning so I hope that you guys like it and I hope you like the progress that I'm making so far because I've got just a little bit more to do and I'm going to post as many videos as I can this week if you're not a subscriber I hope you will consider doing so and remember to turn on your notifications because there's more to come thanks a lot for watching and as always stay in prayer and stay creative Merry Christmas everyone